to Race to Win, the sailing podcast where we use 3D replays of actual races to discuss strategies, racing tactics, and more. So we're going to pick up where we left off in the last podcast, which was talking about mainsail twist. If you're new to the series, you're going to want to go back and start with the first one that explains exactly how we make this video that you're seeing here. Basically, we've just taken a GoPro and screwed it directly into the mainsail headboard. Then we take that video footage and we sync it with a 3D replay using the RaceQ's GeoVids program to get these really amazing videos that we can analyze all kinds of things. So when we left off, we were talking about mainsail twist. And I just want to finish up by saying there's a really easy way to tell if you have enough twist. Um, when you're in the groove, you're sailing along, you know, you're on one of those long beats, you want to make sure that you're trimmed for the best power and pointing abilities that you can get out of the boat. In most normal conditions, if you have enough twist, when you're looking up at the main, that upper telltale should be breaking half of the time. So it will sort of hide behind the main and come back equally 50%. And when it's doing that, you have good power and good pointing ability. Interestingly, even though everybody is obsessed with watching the jib telltales, it's really more important to make sure you have proper twist and to be watching that upper telltale on your main. Now we're going to just pause the video here and we're going to do some more evaluations on our main shape using that UK Housley AccuMeasure software that we talked about before. It's free. Here's a link. Again, if you've been watching this series. Um, now I've already put all of the splines in the upper, middle and lower on the main. And now we're going to look at how to evaluate those. It's really easy. You just click and drag them all on. Again, go back to the first podcast for more information. So let's look at this upper and we can see we get a lot of stats here. Um, let's talk about the draft, also known as the camber. So most of the draft in your sail is sewn in. It's what the sail maker gives it. You can change it a little by bending the mast. And when you start to hear about sails that are being blown out, that means they have the draft is too deep. They're not good anymore. So the draft in the first and second draft stripe is controlled by the mast bend, and the draft at the bottom is controlled by the outhaul. So more draft gives you more power. So deeper draft, deeper belly is more power, but it's also a slower shape. You can't point as well. You can't get as far upwind with that deep, powerful draft. But if you want to accelerate, like accelerating out of attack, for example, or accelerating from a dead stop at the start, you want that deep draft to give you that torque, that power to go from a stop to a start. Now, a less draft, which is shallower, gives you more pointing ability. So if you're already up to speed, then that's when you're going to reduce the draft a little bit and give your sail more pointing ability because you don't need the power. Draft is measured as a percentage, and the rule of thumb is you want to have between 9 to 15 percent on the main, depending on your sailmaker. If it's more than that, it's usually blown out. Now, of course, it also depends on your rig and configuration. And the percentage can be a little different at different heights of the sail. So you want to measure at the top, the middle, and the bottom. And the next thing is to look at is the draft position, which is also measured in a percentage, and AccuMeasure will give that to you. For the main, you want the position to be between 40 to 50 percent, never more than 50 percent. And the whole point of draft position is when the draft is slightly forward, it gives you more power, but a little less pointing ability. When you move the draft aft, it gives you a very narrow groove to drive in, but you will point better and faster. Draft position is controlled mostly by halyard tension and also the Cunningham. From this vantage point, we have a really clear view of the outhaul, so it's easy to evaluate how we had things trimmed and see how that affected our draft position. So you can use AccuMeasure to measure the amount of draft, position, and even the amount of twist. So that's great and all, but what's the point? And what you need to remember is, just by watching your GoPro video, yes, you can see your sail trim, but you have no idea how that actually affected your performance. I know that if I close the leech a little bit, it's going to help me point better, but it will also increase my drag. 
So how did that really affect my performance over time? And that's something that can take thousands of hours on the boat to evaluate and get that sense of how much is just the right amount. Using this system, you can mathematically figure it out. You can look at how your sails were trimmed when you were performing well in different conditions in different races. We have a whole podcast in the works about the best way to interpret this polar chart. But this is what we've developed to evaluate our geovids. These scatter plots show you your performance for the last two minutes, and you can see your VMG, your drift, how your course and heading have changed, and then go back and see what you did differently with your sail trim or your crew work that changed your performance. So that's all for today. Please remember to give us a review on iTunes and we'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this podcast, you can find more on our website, www.racecues.com podcast, or search for Race Cues on iTunes and click subscribe.